Yo, what is going on guys? It's GameSnapback, and welcome to another Borderlands 3 video. Now in this video, I'm going to be going over the loot tank method, except for you can get up to 30 of them to spawn at a time. Now, it is very unlikely for you to get 30 of them to spawn in one single run, but it is definitely possible. Now, in order for you to actually farm the loot tanks, you will have to exit your game, completely close down that game application, go to your settings, and turn off your Wi-Fi. Now, after you've done that, you reload into Borderlands, and you should get 7 times the XP, and the legendaries will revert back to their old days, so you'll be getting a lot of legendaries. And on top of that, it will revert the changes from the loot tank, so you'll be able to get them to spawn again. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into this video. Now, to start off, of course, you're going to want to go to Jacob's Estate on Eden 6. Now, when once you get there, I would recommend just following where I go and go to this one safe point. So yeah, just follow exactly where I go, it's really not too far from spawn and pretty much everyone's made a video on how to get to this place. So basically once you get there, your farm is going to start. So once you get to that location, you're going to want to run across the bridge and there's a chance of 4 loot tinks to actually spawn there. Now the amount of loot tinks that spawn is all based on RNG besides the one that's guaranteed, so you might only get 1 or 2 but it is possible to get 4, I've gotten 4 of them to spawn here. So basically, once you clear out this camp, you're going to want to turn around, run back across the bridge, and go right. Now, once you turn right at that safe point area, you're going to want to run through this swamp area, and then turn right into this little cavern. So this little cavern area has a chance of two loot tanks spawning. It's not guaranteed, but there's a chance of two of them to spawn. And there's also a mini boss that you can kill in this little area. Now, once you clear out all the enemies there, there's a little rock in the middle. I'd recommend jumping on top of that and looking at this little area, and there's a chance for another one to spawn. So if a loot tank did spawn, I would recommend killing them, but if not, you can just turn around and run out. Now, once you run out of that cavern area, you can just continue straight, and there should be a little house thing. You're just going to want to run past that and run on this little trail. Now, the trail will lead you to a chest, and there's two enemies that spawn there, and they both have a chance of becoming loot tanks. So if one spawned for you, then great, just clear out the area, open the chest, and then run back to the save point. Now once you get to the safe point, you're going to want to run back towards that little town area that you have to go through in the story mission. And basically on your way there, just like right outside of the safe point, there's a chance of two other loot tanks to spawn there. I find that usually there's one that comes out of the house, and there's also a chance of one that just spawns in that general area. Also for this farm to be fully effective, you're going to want to clear out every single enemy. But anyways, once you do that, you're going to want to run back towards the little town area that has a chance of more loot tanks spawning. Now the most I've ever gotten to spawn from here is 5 loot tanks in this one town, but I'm pretty sure you can get up to around 7 of them to spawn if you're extremely lucky. So you're just going to want to completely clear out the entire town, because after you clear it out the first time, there's also a second chance of loot tanks spawning, so just clear out the entire area. Now once you've cleared out the entire area of loot tanks and all that kind of stuff, then you're going to want to make sure that you've completed the side mission that you get right at the beginning of the area. Now I don't know how to exactly explain the mission, it's right outside of the spawn area when you first get to Jacob's estate. It's a really easy side mission, but you're just going to want to complete it. Now as long as you've completed that side mission, then you should be able to go into this little area. And basically there's a chance of about 4 or 5 of them to actually spawn here. I usually get around 2 or 3 per run, but you can get up to 5 to spawn in this area. So again, just like the other areas, you're going to want to clear out every single enemy in this area, just so you can make sure that the loot tanks will not spawn, or if they do spawn, you want to make sure that you get every single one of them. So once you've cleared out that area, you're going to want to run back to where that little save point is that I showed you in the beginning. Now once you get to that save point, you're going to want to run up to the top area and call down the little gondola thing. Now once the gondola thing gets there, you're going to want to ride it all the way up to the top and then send it right back down. Now make sure you're not riding on it when you send it back down, so just send it back down and then jump across, or jump across and then send it back down. But basically after you do that, you're going to want to turn left and just run completely to the left side and there's a little like path that you can take. And that path leads to that area where there's a, a chance of another loot tank spawning from that cavern. And there's also another chance for another one, so you can get two loot tanks to spawn in this one little area as well. So again, just clear it out of all the enemies, and once you're done, just jump through the cavern again, and then run back to where the gondola was. And since you sent the gondola back down, you can ride it all the way back up again, you don't have to call it back down. Now, once you ride the gondola all the way up, you're going to want to run towards the mansion. And so once you get to the mansion, there's actually a chance of about 7 loot tanks to spawn here, which is just crazy. 
So you're just going to want to full clear this entire mansion. Now it's a little bit difficult to do since there's so many enemies in this area and it's kind of hard to find the loot tanks but if you're lucky they will spawn right in front of you or just somewhere secluded where you can find them. So yeah just clear out the entire mansion itself. You want to kill every single enemy and make sure that you don't miss any loot tanks. Each room has about a chance of two of them to spawn. And so yeah, just clear out this entire area and then fight the boss that's at that end. I'm pretty sure his name's like Billy or something like that. He has a chance of dropping legendaries as well. And so after you've killed Billy, that's pretty much it for this farming route. But if you want to keep going, you can jump down the hole and go back to the starting area where there's a town. And I notice that enemies tend to spawn about 10 minutes after you've killed them. So you can repeatedly just keep doing this. And if you have a group of four, you can probably speed run this very fast. So you do not even have to save and quit to continue this farm, the only thing is that that guaranteed loot tank will not spawn. Now again, all of these loot tanks are RNG based, so they will not spawn every time for you. But if you are like the luckiest person in the world, you can get 32 of them to spawn each run, which is insane. So using this tactic, you can easily get a thousand legendaries per hour, which is insane. And that's just taking into the average amount of legendaries that are dropped. If you got the max amount to drop, you'd be getting around 258 per run. That would mean you'd be getting around 1,500 per hour, which is insane. Now you do not have to use this entire run, you can use just segments of it if you just want to. You can just use the starting area and then like the areas around that to farm if you really wanted to. But I would definitely recommend using just this entire farm, it's a lot of fun to do and if you have a group of friends then you can probably complete this incredibly fast. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this farm, this is going to be my last video on this loot tank farm, so I hope you guys did enjoy, this is the ultimate guide to farming all of the legendaries here. And so if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.